Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Inside Man City's dressing room title party, Jack Grealish and Julian Alvarez lead delirious players singing We Are The Champions as Rodri celebrates with beer and Bernardo Silva feasts and pizza. Manchester City's title winning squad took their pitch side celebrations into the dressing room after lifting the Premier League trophy for the third consecutive year on Sunday. Pep Guardiola secured the title for his side with three games in hand and ample preparation time for his squad to reset ahead of their post-season campaigns in the FA Cup in Champions League. But before the team refocuses on their pursuit of a historic treble, there was time for the players to get swept up in their achievement, and kick off what could be a summer of celebrations. Long after the final whistle, the squad congregated into the Etihad changing rooms where Jack Grealish and Julian Alvarez led their delirious teammates in a rendition of We Are The Champions Queen's original booming from the speakers. In pictures from Sky Sports, the players were seen to have swapped their jerseys for special editions of their first kit emblazoned not with their names but Champions 23 to commemorate the season's achievements. They were joined in their festivities by kitman Brandon Ashton, who memorably celebrated City winning their domestic treble in 2019 by stripping down to his underwear and launching himself into a laundry basket. Rodri cracked open a beer which he raised aloft as he was dragged into the happy gang in the center of the dressing room. Although now 18, Academy starlet Rico Lewis swigged the sports drink as he watched the party unfold around him. Bernardo Silva and Ruben Dias munched on pizza, but that didn't save the Portugal international from being drawn into the swaying crowd by Erling Haaland and Phil Foden. The players were clearly delighted by their achievements, hugging and swaying in time to the music, but their celebrations received sharp artistic criticism from pundit Micah Richards. The former Man City player reflected that the singing was awful as the cameras left the players to their revelry. Like strangled cats, Richards teased. After the final whistle on their 1-0 victory over Chelsea, Kyle Walker had hinted at the celebrations to come. We will have a few glasses of champagne, the defender admitted. But then we move on to June, adding that he was adamant that the team's definition of success involved winning their first Champions League trophy and claiming the second ever treble in English football. We have two massive finals, he continued. To say we're up there with the greatest Premier League teams of all time we have to go and conquer some of that. We've been called the Formidables and the Centurions but to go and get this we can really stamp a mark on being one of the greatest teams of all time in the Premier League. Walker and his teammates were unable to celebrate on the pitch immediately after referee Michael Oliver called time on their tie with their West London opponents after fans rushed down from the stands and invaded the pitch. Players from both sides were quickly escorted off and down the tunnel by security in the moments after the final whistle as supporters flooded the ground. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.